Howdy, partners, we're back. The folks at Roadshow don't horse around, and they're about to make a mighty big deal. Where are you going? I'm calling you about those vases. Right, right, I sent you pictures. He's got pretty high expectations, and he's got some sentimental value attached to these. I realize that, yeah. Okay, okay, now the, the bracelet, the Versace. Yeah, there's no marks, no hallmarks whatsoever. Okay, all right, thank you. Hi, sorry I took so long. I don't think we're gonna be able to find a collector who's gonna pay for that sentimental attachment plus the value of the vases. But it is beautiful, the, the workmanship's gorgeous on it. Right. Okay, at this point we've looked at the bracelet. Unfortunately, it's not an original Versace, but it is still 18 karat, which is fabulous. Um, so we can offer you $936 for the bracelet today. Let me think about it. Okay. And I will give you an answer within the next uh, five minutes. Okay. <laughs> I have to call mom. Have to okay. <laughs> you want me to call her? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Mom, they have to do more research on the vases, but the uh, bracelet they're offering nine thirty six. So, do you want to sell it? Okay. So I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. She said, go ahead with the bracelet. Wonderful. Okay, that now we'll just do. Well, it looks like he's gonna keep the vases. We are gonna continue to look for a, for a buyer for those because they are really unusual. Um, but we did buy the, buy the bracelet. He was very excited. I enjoyed it and we had a great time. What am I gonna do with the money? I think uh, Christmas is coming, so here comes Santa. <laughs> came to the road show and I was asking for a certain amount of money. They offered a little less, but I bargained and got what I wanted. Come on, guys. Will the circle be unbroken? By and by, Lord, by and by. Well, I'll tell you, Rod drove a hard bargain over here, but we ended up with a 1965 Gibson Les Paul Jr. Nice guitar, um, collectability more so than playability, but back in the 60s, artists really liked them because they were lightweight. The PAF pickup actually cut through a lot of the mixes real well, so when you're playing live, they had a real good sound. Artists like Eric Clapton, uh, the Beatles, some of the Beach Boys made them real famous. Nice piece, antique white, real good for a personal collection. Well, Rod, a deal's a deal, brother. There you go, man. There's your check. Appreciate Thanks, it, guys, but keep your day jobs. <laughs> That's all the time we have for this week's show. Remember, you could be sitting on a treasure of your own, so start treasure hunting. I'm Andy St. Clair, and I'll see you next time on Treasure Hunters Roadshow. Don't believe we're leaving San Antonio? I'll prove it to you. The stars at night are big and bright. Keep in the heart of Texas. Texas. Find out what city I'll be in next online at treasurehuntersroadshow.com. Well, you look pretty young here to me. And I'm sure you meant handsome right after. That's it. Yes, young and handsome. And cute. And cute. Still on. Oh! Oh! Ah! That's a wrap. This thing's gonna kill me. <laughs>